using ZBrush 3.5 R3, what we'll do now is uh, bring in Victoria 4. Once Victoria 4 is loaded in, you'll want to change the skin shader to something that's good to work with. Now what I'll be doing is warping the face, so I'm going to control and shift click the face. There we go. Click on frame here, that'll bring it into, bring it into frame, and what I'm going to do is just go ahead and make some quick manipulations on here, pressing X, so I get a nice symmetry. some really quick brush work on here. Just so that we definitely know the faces change to something else. and alter anything as you like. I'll switch over to a move brush. This isn't a tutorial on how to warp her face. This is just a tutorial on how to get her face back and forth into the ZBrush. And then into Poser. So that's one of the reasons I'm not spending a lot of time showing that. All right, so I think this looks fine for a fine for a test. So what we'll do now, now that this is done, is go to Subtools, and what we're going to do is click Split Hidden, and this will actually separate the face mesh group from the rest of the rest of Victoria 4's body. So what we're going to do is do Split Hidden. And as you can see now in the subtool palette, we have the face in one subtool and the rest of the body in another subtool. So, what we can do then is go ahead and export the face. So, we'll go to export. I usually just save it to the desktop. You can name this whatever you want, but since it's just for the face, I'm just going to call it head. Then you can go over into Poser to test out your morph to make sure that it works. Okay, back in Poser, what we're going to do is make sure that we click on the head since that's what we warped. We're going to go to Object, Load Morph Target. Just navigate to wherever you saved your morph target. I named it head and I saved it on the desktop, so that's what I'm going to open. I'm going to give it a different name other than head. So I'm just going to call it monster, all caps. Click OK. And it'll pop up in the new morph injector channel right here, down at the bottom of the head. And to apply it, you just click it, press 1. And there's the head morph. Applied with no problems. It'll render fine, everything's fine there. So now that we know how to do that, we want to go over and try something else. So we'll get into how to get this into an injector file later on. But there are files that'll do that. There are Python scripts that'll do that stuff for you. I'll uh, try to stick some links on to the sidebar so you guys will know where to go to get those things. And if you have any questions, as usual, post them, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible.